And on the way to church, I was joking with my brother, wouldn't it be funny if we started a round of the penis game in church? <laughs> <laughs> to which my mother said, what's the penis game? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. Ryan, what are we watching? All right, so uh, by request, so we had a request from Ryan Hyatt. Thank you very much for requesting this. Thank and we're gonna be watching Trevor Wilson, a Canadian. A Canadian, yeah. This is actually in Toronto. From Toronto, Canada. Which right is where on. we're from. Yeah, all right. So, all right, check it out. So Trevor Wilson, uh, yeah. stand up and bite me. I think that's the name of the contest. Yeah, right? he's contestant number seven. I don't move much. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Kay Trevor Wilson. I want to tell you guys a bit about myself. I was uh, raised in kind of a religious family. I was born a Christian scientist. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Christian science is, it's a, a sect of Christianity where they don't believe in uh, going to the doctor or using medicine. They uh, believe that they can cure all ailments through the power of prayer. So, needless to say, most of my family is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors are important. We actually left Christian Science and became United Christians. My parents are still very involved with the church and we just had Easter not too long ago. Of course, Easter, a very religious holiday. There's lots of traditions around my house that involve the church. The least popular is the one where my mother tries to force all of her adult children to go to midnight service with her. Uh, we always tried to get out of this growing up because we considered church at night a punishment. <laughs> As we got older, my brother and I decided, you know, this is something nice we can do for mom. It doesn't cost us anything and it makes her happy. So we just decided to go with her to church. And we started our own Easter tradition called, let's see how drunk we can get before 12. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is always very. You can always get very drunk if you really apply yourself. And I still remember the first year that we tried this tradition, my brother and I got nice and rye drunk and then we all loaded into the family station wagon and off we went and on the way to church i was joking with my brother wouldn't it be funny if we started a round of the penis game in church <laughs> to which my mother said what's the penis game <laughs> and i said well mom the penis game is when one of you says penis very quietly and then the next person says penis a little bit louder. <laughs> you keep going back and forth until either one of you chickens out or one of you is screaming penis at the top of the lungs. I remember this game. That. She said, you are not playing the penis game in church. That is not happening. And I said, mom, of course we're not going to play the penis game in church. That's ridiculous. Who would do that? Don't worry, we're just drunk. <laughs> and we get to church, and Mom likes to go to church early so she can get the seats up at the front, because that's where all the good religion is, people, is up at the front of the church. You don't want to be in the back getting the leftover Jesus with those heathens. You want that fresh squeezed Jesus right from the pastor's mouth. <laughs> We were the second row of pews, mom was delighted, and then the service starts, so we all rise, and my brother and I were sharing a hymnal, and of course, uh, the choir came in and everyone started singing along, and there was an older gentleman in the pew in front of us, and his eyesight wasn't as strong as it used to be. He was having some trouble following along with the words as they were written in the hymnal. Sometimes they're written very small. And he was an older gentleman, his hearing wasn't as strong as it used to be. He was having some trouble uh, following along with the melody that the choir was singing. So he made up for these handicaps by singing just really loud and whatever the fuck he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome, he was all over the map, just... Ah, ah, ah. 
My brother and I were killing ourselves laughing the whole time, but the church version of killing yourself laughing, which is where you grip your sides and shake <laughs> as tears stream down your face while you fight to hold in every bit of noise because you're not allowed to laugh in church. <laughs> you should try that with not, try not to laugh. Because God forbid the sound of I've pure been joy church. should emanate your lips <laughs> in the house of the Lord. This old guy was keeping us very entertained for the entire service. And then we got to the sermon. And uh, we had a Dutch minister at our church by the name of Jan. And a more aptly named minister I've never met in my life. <laughs> Boring as hell. And you'd think Easter, you could speed it up a bit. We all know the Easter story. They nailed Jesus to a tree, but before that, he took his friends out for dinner and said, guys, when the Romans come, hide my chocolate eggs. We all know <laughs> the Easter story. <laughs> but I was bored, so I leaned over to my brother during the sermon, and I said to him, I said, penis. <laughs> Just as a joke, and he got it. And then he leaned over to me, and he said, penis. <laughs> now, I was only kidding. <laughs> when I said penis. But now that Carl said penis, <laughs> well, we have ourselves a game. <laughs> it's on. It's on. So I waited. I waited until I got the perfect moment, and I leaned over to my brother, and I said, Pen and that's all I got out of my mouth, because my mother karate chopped me in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> and then said to my brother and I, you are not playing the penis game in church! <laughs> and she won. Thank you very much. Again. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Mom said it loudest. Hey, Trevor Wilson! Good job, Trevor Wilson. Yeah. Rep in Toronto hard. No, he's good. I like his voice and his delivery. He's just like that monotone guy. Just like how he delivers. Yeah. I feel. I mean, I haven't seen. Uh, he seemed like like a storyteller. Kind he of. is. I like. Is. I like good comic stories and stuff like that. That was good. So it yeah, was, yeah. Really like that. Um, if you guys like this, please tell us at the bottom, uh, or tell us anything at the bottom. Quite <laughs> frankly, um, any comments that you may have, uh, and if you have any suggestions for this guy or others, please leave it down below. And what else, Ryan? Like, share, and subscribe. But also. Thank you, Ryan Hyatt, for recommending that. Thank you very much. Yeah, really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, like, share, and subscribe. It really does help. It doesn't cost you anything. It does help us a lot. So we appreciate that. And uh, yeah. we'll see you we'll next see you time. Guys soon. Later.